Welcome to Diving Deep with Deepak and Dara, where we make the deep relatable and translatable into your life. Deepak, you and I were having a conversation about leadership. Can you tell our audience about what you think makes a great leader? Great leaders have integrity, which means uh, they say what they mean and they live up to it. They also have authenticity, which means they don't pretend to be who they're not. They have a higher calling and they take responsibility for everything that happens under their leadership. Those are fundamental qualities of great leaders, but also um, directly or indirectly, they offer hope, trust, stability, and compassion. And um, I have an acronym for leaders, L stands for look and listen and create a vision. E, learn to bond emotionally and be emotionally intelligent. A, expand your awareness from being reactive to visionary and creative. D, uh, doing, be action-oriented. E, again, empowerment, our responsibility. And S, synchronicity. Y'all, he just comes up with this off the top of his head. <laughs> it's unrehearsed. That's incredible. So what does it mean when a leader has power, comes to power, but is out of alignment with those? Is there, is there a way that they need to shift? Does something karmically happen? What happens next? You no, know, all leaders, it doesn't matter whether it's a democracy or aristocracy or whatever, you know, totalitarian regime or monarchy, um, all leaders are reflections of collective consciousness. So if you have a crazy leader, then that means collective consciousness at that moment is crazy. We have no idea where that could be happening right now, <laughs> right? That's it. But if, if the leader seems insane, then that means our collective consciousness right now is experiencing insanity. And we're experiencing that on micro levels as well. Yeah. So if it's your boss or yeah, wherever yeah, else. Yeah, and that ultimately projects as the leader. Absolutely. Great Leadership 101 lessons, actually. That's like 501 from Deepak. So Deepak, let's transition to the second part of the conversation, which is always much lighter. And I'm curious, what's the best piece of advice you've ever gotten? Uh, from my mother. She said, there are three goddesses. Did I tell you this one? You did, but I want to hear it again because it's really good. Okay, she <laughs> said, uh, there's the goddess of wisdom, the goddess of abundance and affluence, and the goddess of who destroys ignorance. And so all you need to do is focus on the goddess of wisdom and the others will get jealous and they'll chase you. And that's been my life. It sounds actually very Warren Buffett-esque that he spends the majority of his day learning. Yeah. Abundance has certainly chased Warren Buffett. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you want to hear more, enjoy a free masterclass with Deepak and myself on living a more meaningful life, along with a guided meditation at dara.co slash Deepak. You can also subscribe to our channels, comment below, let us know what you loved, what you'd love to hear more of, or follow us on Instagram and Twitter, where we'll share daily knowledge droppings at Deepak Chopra and at Dara B. See you next time.